Get your boy inside. We got ten minutes before the wind picks up. What about Chesler? Well, she's not stupid. She'll be here. Just go. You should get inside, too. There's a sandstorm coming and the spaceport's a designated shelter. No flights in or out for a while. The force can be a beacon in a storm. I can help those who are lost find their way here. I'd expect that from a Jedi. All right, but we lock down at 20. Move. Done all we can. Now we wait. Well, looks like we got out okay. Pretty much everyone did. Though we lost three power generators. Doesn't compare to tracking down some crazed Jedi Master, I suppose. Very well informed for a. What did you say your job was? Name's Galen. I'm just a man enjoying his retirement. Trying to give something back to the community. Look, these people have it rough in the best of times, but between pirates and sandstorms and sand people, we can't take much more. If you leave without finishing the job you started, how long before the Empire claims this planet? You're asking me to stay, but I've done what I came for. And along the way, you helped out all sorts of people. Would it hurt to focus on that for once? Tatooine's only chance is unity. Making communities that can stand together against warlords and monsters. Espelar's our best hope. It's a trading post where farmers, Jawas, and leaders from half a dozen towns swap information. The Empire means to burn it to the ground. How will the Empire burn it to the ground? Sandstorm broke Espelar's defenses, and the Imperials will send in saboteurs. You need to give the people breathing room, help them rebuild. Stop the Imperials, head into town, and help put this planet on the path to being a proud, independent society. Or give up and go. Your choice. Hey, you're the Jedi Galen sent, right? Old man's kind of crazy, but he has his moments. I'm Mayor Aaron, and this hole in the sand is mine. Imperial saboteurs were headed for your outpost. They planned to destroy it. You're serious? Huh. Who knew? Galen claims this little outpost is key to uniting the planet. I'd like to agree, but I've got other things to worry about. Sand people always follow the sandstorms, and there must be a dozen tribes out there. Plus pirates, broken equipment. It's pull out or be slaughtered. Let me see what I can do. I've handled sand people and pirates before. So have we, but not like this. Look around, and anything you can do, I'll be grateful. Until things clear up, though, I think you're our last visitor. The desert's quiet for the moment. Too bad it won't last. I'm Junter Galt, leader of the Anchorhead Militia in this area. We could use some of that Jedi wisdom of yours. I've lost too many good militiamen to the Sand People. All I've got left are soft recruits, and no one to teach them combat skills. I'll instruct them on fundamentals. See that they're prepared for battle. Yeah, thank you, Master Jedi. Recruits will benefit from your wisdom. Excuse me, sir. I thought you might like a break from watch duty. I'm not tired yet. There's someone here you should meet. This here's Vastal. Good soldier. But no tactical know-how. He's heading up our new squad of recruits. Think you could take these men under your wing, march them into sand people territory, show them how a true warrior fights? Bring the recruits out and we'll start immediately. Thank you. I, I promise we won't slow you down. Prove it in the sand. Astle knows where the sand people lurk. Go with him. Show his crew how to fight. Wish I could have joined the fight. Just catching a bit through the viewer got my blood pumping. I've learned much, sir. She taught me well. I see all the recruits return safely. Never thought I'd see the day. I enjoyed leading them. Quite the impressive fighters. Not so loud. I don't want them getting all smug on me. Thanks for your help. I'll take over the training from here. Emergency! I repeat, this is Cole Dar by Manister Base, and this is an emergency! Manister Base is under attack! Send reinforcements, now! I'll go, sir. 
I, I can take our remaining recruits. You've been on one training mission. Don't be foolish. I hate asking again, but uh, I've got no choice in less time. Could you lead Vastil and his forces into battle? We should head out immediately. Excellent. Vastil, take the reserve crews and scout ahead. Yes, sir. We'll depart immediately. Vastil will serve you well. But he's green, and don't forget that. Please go to Manister Base. The recruits will need all your help repelling the attackers, whoever they are. Thank goodness you're here. Cole was smart enough to hide after sending the call, but now they've got us pinned down. It's no use. The Geonosians are swarming over the supply depot, raiding our provisions. Isn't there some way to defeat them? Geonosians may look like insects, but they're brutal warriors and experts with technology. Their battle droids alone killed some of our best men. We won't fare any better. We can't wait. We must defeat the Geonosians before they take our remaining supplies. Kill enough and you might be able to break them, salvage some of the supplies. Still, it's too dangerous. The Force will help me stop the Geonosians. This is our fight. We can help you defeat them. No, we can't! They'll blast us to pieces if we engage them. Maybe if you attack the Geonosians, thin them out, we could sneak away in the confusion. I'm not running away, whatever the danger. Please, let us fight with you. I won't risk your lives. Sit still until I've cleared the way. If you insist, I'm sorry we can't help. You're just lucky your leader knows what's best for you. I suppose you're right. Once the path's clear, we'll head for the nearby speeder pad. I know a doctor there who'll patch us up. You know, he's catching down to what you cause, but maybe continue. No need, doctor. You can return to your duties. Recruits are resting, and Cole will be fine once the doctors are through with him. We've heard of your victory against the Geonosians. The battle must have been impressive. The fight was brutal and cold. Don't aspire to such violence. I didn't. I mean, I'm grateful for what you've done. You've taught us well. I'm to be fully initiated into the Anchorhead Militia thanks to you. Do you have any advice for me before I join the service? Respect the people of Tatooine, and the Force will guide you. I think I understand. You're too kind, Master Jedi. Thank you again. I'll carry myself in your image as I defend the city. Galen, I've done all I can to help the locals. That's what I keep hearing. Mayor Aaron says her outposts reopen for trade. She's got visitors from as far as Mos Moran talking and working together. There are farmers who aren't afraid of sand people anymore. Militiamen you inspired. You've given Tatooine a reason to fight. The people who live here did the real work. I just lent a hand. That's all anyone really needs. We'll never be strong enough to beat the Empire, but united. We can convince them we're too much trouble to conquer. Now get out of here before another sandstorm hits. I imagine those lost masters you're after can't wait anymore. It's time I got a real answer. Who are you, and how do you know about me? I suppose I owe you that much. Some Jedi boldly save worlds, others fight empires, and some put their lightsabers aside and help in smaller ways. Go on, we won't meet again. And though this planet won't remember you, what you've done will change it forever. <laughs>